We've got over a thousand uh, businesses that we provide space to. Um, but at the bigger end, we've got names like DHL, Mars, Rolls-Royce, O2 and LG Electronics. So a range of international businesses, many of which are based uh, in West London and the Thames Valley. And of course, they're based there not by accident. They're there because of the proximity they have to Heathrow, which is a very important um, part of their business. They need connectivity to their, uh, their global networks and to their, cus their customers and their suppliers and other partners. If they're importing mission-critical pharmaceutical or med medical products, importing or exporting fresh produce for consumption, then they need very direct access to the markets that they're connecting to. The UK generally needs to improve its connectivity to the, the, the very popular, fast-growing markets like in Asia, South America, Africa, even perhaps Russia. Um, and I'd support all of that. But for us as a particularly focused on, a, on our European business, uh, even closer to home, we, we have issues with connectivity. So for example, we're a big investor in Poland today, which is a big country, growing fast, 38 million people. Yet you can only fly from Heathrow directly to Warsaw. Uh, and that makes it very difficult for us to, uh, to, to, to do business and to have an efficient operation. The consequences of, of not expanding capacity are going to be that it will constrain growth. I think the UK, and particularly London, risks losing its status as a global capital if we can't get more air connectivity in the UK. Other European cities are already pulling away from, from London in terms of air capacity. So there are four, air, four runways at Charles de Gaulle. Uh, Schiphol has six runways, although they only use three at any one time and Frankfurt opened their fourth runway in 2011. So we're already well behind the competition and we're losing out in terms of connectivity and that's something we've absolutely got to address as a country. My simple message to our political leaders is air connectivity is vital for the economy. We're falling behind our peers. Please get together, build some cross-party support and commit to do something uh, very soon after the Davis Commission publishes its final report. Tomorrow would not be a day too soon to expand our capacity in terms of runways in the UK. We're already falling behind our European peers and, uh, and, we, and we need to catch up rapidly. We can't afford to wait 10 or 20 years before we do something about it.